Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is uh, building a Lego set, a vintage Lego set uh, from the Lego team Pirates, which no longer of course exist. Uh, this is a Lego set 6289. Uh, it was released in 1996 and uh, retailed for at that time for $100. And is made up of 703 pieces like i said this is a vintage uh, lego set uh, so like i said 1996 so you go figure uh, uh, these are very expensive to find especially if you want to get a new one uh, i was lucky to get my hand on a used one uh, as you see did not have the box which is fine i mean i'm i don't need the box anyway uh, it's nice if you have it but i'm gonna build it so for display so the box would have been stored anyway uh, presumably uh, this uh, lego set currently goes for i would say 250 dollars to up to like without exaggerating thousand to 1500 dollars depending on the condition of it if it's brand new used whatever the case is now i got my hand on this good deal uh, i got it through ebay from a seller who uh, who sold it and claims it was complete and as you see uh, the booklet comes with it the book is in very good condition uh, looking at it it comes with the sales so the sales are there I guess that's a good thing all three of them and the bag of stuff which again the claim is uh, it's all there I guess we'll find out when the build uh, happens um, the, so like I said uh, you could buy this right now it's retired set uh, you could buy it uh, but you'd be spending it uh, depending where you buy it from of course amazon bricklink ebay so on and so forth uh, i uh, i think i spend on this one around 200 and uh, 40 dollars i believe yes more than the retail price like i said if you had bought it in 1996 you would have paid 100 dollars so but I think it's still a good deal compared to what they are going for now if you want to buy them. Again, if you can find a good one. Uh, but anyway, uh, so with no further ado, let's start building. So the build is done. Uh, this is the Red Beard Runner pirate ship. Uh, as mentioned earlier in the video, this is a 1996 
uh, Lego release for the pirate team. So it's a vintage. So of course for me it has a passion because it is part of my childhood. Uh, when I grew up, of course, uh, these are the toys I had access to. Uh, when I was, uh, you know, using Legos or playing with Legos, it was usually the pirate team or the castle team, which of course both of them are no longer uh, exist. So anyway, but uh, so definitely has a lot of memories, brings a lot of memories for me. But uh, as mentioned, uh, this is what it looks like, the Red, uh, Red Beard Runner. That's one of the pirate ships I have. I think I have a, quite a few of them, which I will share them uh, as I uh, pull them out and uh, get them ready for display in my Lego room. I'll share those with you because, like I said, these are vintage Lego sets, which uh, are released between 1993, 1996, and uh, I think 2000, so they're very old sets. But I was happy with this set because this set is actually very complete. Other than the box, uh, I, I'm very impressed with the uh, with the content of it. It's very well it's clean it's, uh, it's not missing anything actually all is there uh, and uh, which is very rare to find something that rare uh, to be complete and in good condition you don't even have any yellowing on the white pieces or any uh, uh, discoloration on the uh, gray pieces and or scuffing or anything like that even the sails are all in very good condition very mint uh, very good no tears no uh, wrinkles nothing of the sort uh, so this set uh, like I said retails for $100 uh, back in the day in the 1990s but uh, if you want to get your hand on a nice one even if not new just used you will be paying a lot of dollars for it but uh, I was lucky to pay actually I rechecked I know in the early in the video I said 240 but I even paid less than that I think I paid around 200 or 210 which is kind of nice I mean just double the price from the 90s uh, so if you factor inflation in and all the stuff I think it's uh, it's a good price for it but right now if I want to go get it again I most probably will be paying four or five hundred dollars easily for a used one with ha which most probably won't be complete even uh, so I'm very happy with that uh, catch I was very lucky and the seller was very uh, honest and uh, he really kept his word I mean everything was there uh, nothing broken as he said so let's dig deep into it so of course it comes with the uh, with the instructions which is actually a uh, very well good condition not ripped not torn like other ones i've seen uh, i usually try to stay away from second hand lego sets uh, but this one is very good condition uh, so that's that uh, it comes with all the minifigures and their accessories uh, there's seven of them for the set and as you can see here come to the captain the pirate and his crew so they're all there with their uh, with the weapons nothing missing there it comes with the boat uh, being hauled up with the, pulled away with the ship with the string that's even included it has a treasure chest which has coins in it even the coins are even included uh, i would sometimes most of the time these are missing but uh, he even had all that so this guy really took care of it uh, to the dime i mean it comes with a couple of animals uh, the monkey uh, the shark and the parrot and they're all there Usually, most of the sets I, uh, when I was eyeing on it a year ago, uh, or even further, uh, I could never find one with complete, uh, with all the elements in it. The flags are even there, and the clips are not even broken, which is a good thing there. Uh, usually, the the flags are broken or missing. But yeah, so uh, it comes with all that, some extra weapon. It comes with two, three cannons, and yep, they're all there. These cannons are actually very expensive, especially the one with the gray base, uh, sorry, the brown base. Uh, they're very hard to find, and, and if you find them, they're very expensive. You'll be shedding some uh, cash in there. But uh, this came with everything it needs to be. You actually have the ability to add more cannons to it. I think it has enough to add a total of eight cannons. Of course, the set come with three. Uh, if you want to shed more money, you can buy uh, another five, And but there's room for them. But I like to keep everything original. It comes with the compass over here. This usually most of the time is missing and it's very expensive to buy. Uh, so yeah, so that's pretty much uh, for the ship itself. Uh, let's move these away. Uh, the ship actually is a very nice ship. I mean, keep in mind, this is a 1990 ship. So 
don't expect the details you would see like if they build it now but uh, even for that era I think they did a good job uh, I remember when I was a child I used to uh, actually uh, I never owned it but I had friends who had it and we used to play and uh, we actually liked it uh, uh, so I had my own pirate ships which this will be part of the display sets but uh, yeah I think it's uh, for those days uh, I think it's very well thought of so you have uh, the sail and everything the, ma uh, the mass and all that stuff yep so uh, everything is there now from a playability standpoint uh, of course I don't that doesn't float <laughs> so I know Legos made some ships that float but this is not one of them uh, I would assume it will sink if you put it in the water I never tried it so I even when I was a kid, I, since I didn't own it, I never tried it, so it wasn't mine. So I don't know uh, if that's true, but I don't think that uh, floats. Uh, so what does it have for playability? This one comes off. This is where the captain steers the ship. So you have a compartment there. The rudder is there here. That moves manually, of course. Right? And uh, these open up, so you can see the inside of it, both of them. So both sides open up. And the inside of it, not much there. Uh, if you recall, if you look at the recent uh, ships, like Caribbean ships, Pirates of the Caribbean, I know I posted two of them. Uh, they have much details inside, but keep in mind those are, you know, uh, late 2000 ships, like 2010 and so on and so forth. So Lego start, you know, developing these techniques. Uh, so they open up here. Uh, I believe this one comes up from here and let me show you what I mean by that from a playability standpoint if you pull these out from here and there's another one on the other side the thing drops so the idea is when we were kids you will have the captain let me just try to do it again so the idea is this will be here and when you do that, when you pull this off, it's going to fly across now. This is going to fly across like that, showing the illusion of, you know, like the pirate ship was hit and it's falling apart, which is kind of cool. Uh, so that's one function there. Another function here is this one. If you pull this lever, keep your eye on the first sail. Yep, so it shows you that. So like I said, this is uh, the illusion of the pirate ship was being hit. Uh, so it's falling apart, the masts are falling apart. So again, I think it's kind of cool. But other than that, not much there. Uh, that's pretty much it from a playability. So the cannons, uh, you can move them back and forth. Uh, there's some, there's two barrels there, one with weapons and most probably the others with maybe rum. <laughs> uh, I guess, I don't know. So uh, the the this hook here can be controlled by the by moving the thread up and down. So you can adjust this thread up and down manually, of course. There's no crank to it or anything like that. So uh, so that's that. Let's put this back here so we can and there we go. So yeah, so this can be adjusted up and down, but of course manually. What else? Uh, now, uh, if you remember, I don't know if who is my audience are, but if this set was bought, uh, there's a European version. What I mean by that, the cannons uh, that are made for the U.S. are uh, they don't they don't actually work. They're just for show. But when I was a kid, uh, uh, when we bought, when we had, when we owned these cannons and these sets. The cannons are made for non-US. As you notice, uh, there's here a mark that shows you. Yep, see? So anyway, so this one here, let me see if I can do it one hand. This knob here is actually fixed. Nothing happened. There's nothing there. You know, it's one mold. But when I was a kid, uh, if I, we, we bought the non-US version one, where the cannons actually work. They're spring-loaded cannons. And this one actually, you put it back and you put one of those bricks in there 
and when you pull this one the spring load and release it the brick flies across the room and which shows the illusion of the cannon flying uh, so that was actually fun uh, but unfortunately if you have the US version which is what I have now because I bought it from a US person you know US uh, uh, owner so he have of course the US version uh, so which means these cannons are just for display they don't work uh, but like I said the rest of the world they will have the working version where you're gonna see in there uh, the spring load uh, mechanism which when you pull this one and you put one of those bricks in there and you pull it it will actually fly across the room uh, I guess the US uh, I guess I don't know maybe complaints and things like that uh, and safety reason the US uh, version does not allow for this function but just wanted to point this out uh, just from a history standpoint because I know now that I could I I the ones I own, they actually function. I might actually dig one out for another video when I build the other pirate ships and just show you what I mean by that in detail. But for now, I just wanted to bring this up. So, with no further ado, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, this uh, vintage uh, pirate ship, which is hard to find. Uh, and if so, please don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Until next video, let's keep building.